Okay, Bolo Buddies. So I bought a $100 mystery box from Auctions For You, and it's a toy box. I'm gonna go through it. Some of the stuff is new old stock. Some of it is pre-owned. So bought a bunch of storage units packed with toys. So super excited about this, and we are gonna dig into this box. I'm gonna pop up screen shares. Hey, Bolo Buddies. All right, let's get started. Okay, guys, I just wanted to briefly interrupt and let you know this is the other vintage toy box that I bought from T, the very first one, Auctions for You, and it was incredible. I learned so much from this box, um, tons of vintage toys, so please go check out the replay. I will post this down in the description. This box is a little bit different that I'm doing today. It is more new old stock, but definitely check out that other video. And the other video coming soon uh, that I'm still trying to get listed is similar to this one. All right, you guys, let's get started. All right, so I'm getting the big box out of the bag here. This is all the stuff I have listed and drafted and I just need to do photos. This is not drafted yet but I did a live listing the other night on my reseller testing Bolo products. And this was everything that I got drafted. And then I typically um, will do photographs the next day, but I haven't got to it yet, but lots of fun stuff. You guys can go check out that replay if you want to learn about some of these items. Okay. So this is a mystery toy box from auctions for you. And I will link her YouTube channel down in the description. And it's a $100 box. I don't know if I said that. Sorry, I'm probably really jerking the camera there. All right, let's see what we got here. So she recently bought out a toy store and I think some storage units. So some of this stuff may be new old stock. I'm not 100% sure. This isn't like the mystery boxes that I've gotten from her before that are just a bunch of like vintage used pre-owned toys. This one is probably gonna be a little bit different. So um, we've got this little car and I, I'm gonna look up comps and list these things and show you guys how I listed it. I don't know anything about that, so we are gonna find out. This is a Monopoly. My dog's drinking water. I say every time I do a video, my dog drinks water. <laughs> You're slurping. Okay, so that's a McDonald's Monopoly car. Ooh, this is cool. It's a BMW uh, motorcycle. Look at that. It's like a, a model car. And I think a lot of these things are vintage also. Um, and I know she's got so much inventory that she's just throwing stuff in boxes. So I'm guessing she didn't look this stuff up. Uh, G-U-I-L-O-Y, never heard of that. So, but I think it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. What is this? This is another, oh, this is a, is it Corgi or Corgi? I don't know. I've sold this brand in the past. Um, this is like a little model car, super cute. In the original packaging, so it's new old stock. It's got the little box that it came in here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it back in there with one hand. Star Wars, what is this? The Empire Strikes Back two-player game and let's whoa, let's see if there's a date on it 1996 so that is still sealed so look that up we have a u.s forest service this is imex i'm not sure if that's i-m-e-x it's a model another model car all right, we have this, again, Corgi or Corgi, not sure how you say it, Michelin Tires. Look how they spelled tires, that's funny. Um, so again, new old stock. It is from 
1996. We have a little Smurf and it is dated 1982. She knows I love little bags like this. Like the other two mystery boxes that I bought from her were just loose toys, just like this, just a box full. Um, one of those videos I posted and it was amazing. You guys should definitely go check that out. And I'm working on the second one. I really have no business opening this box because I still haven't listed the stuff from the other box. But, um, so this is just a hodgepodge of little toys. And you guys, I love selling smalls. So I'm excited to see what all is in here. All right, we've got die cast miniature pencil sharpener. Cute. And then we have another one. And this is a, that one looked like a bingo game. Uh, what is this? I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right, we've got this wrestler, Stephanie Mc McManon or something. I don't know. Helmsley, I don't know anything about wrestlers. But this is Jack's Pacific from 2001. Barbie and Snoopy. Look how cute. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Collector's Edition. And this is, I know she got a lot of Barbie stuff, but she also got like a lot of Star Wars, Star Trek. Um, so definitely check out her channel. I know she's doing, um, selling tons of the toys at her selling events, but she's also doing boxes. So I just requested a hundred dollar box. That's what I did. Okay. We've got another Smurf guy. I forget what his name is. Is it, I, I've listed him before. Is it Gargamel maybe? I don't know. Fallen flag replicas. So it's another, um, model truck, brand new. I think I have sold this before, you guys. That's so funny. I think I've sold this one. I can't remember how much I sold it for, but um, I think it sold. I'm pretty sure it sold. Dated 2004. And then we've got, this is cool. How super is your squad? So um, it's new old stock. It is dated, I don't see a date. Let's see. Why can't I find a date? That's weird. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's, uh, I don't know if it's completely vintage, but it's definitely, I don't think it's new. It looks kind of older. I'll have to look it up. We got a vintage deck of playing cards to check that out. We've got a couple of uh, jump ropes here. Kids jump ropes. It looks like princess jump ropes. What's down here? I see something poking down here. We got another little Snoopy guy. Oops, that wasn't in the screen. This one is dated. I don't see a date on it. We've got an Elsa and Anna frozen play set. It looks like. Hans and Kristoff and Olaf and Sven, but Olaf is missing right here. So that'll be sold incomplete. Okay, I ripped the bag open. Let's check it out. All right, I am not familiar with this guy, so I will Google lens him. This guy's missing an arm. Um, and he's vintage, so I'll still look him up because you never know. Sometimes with vintage stuff, people will still buy it even if it's broken. Um, let me see if I can read what that says. I cannot, Berman or, oh no, it says Germany. My eyes don't work like they used to. That, is that Tarzan? Look at this guy. Is that an eraser? Might be an eraser. Okay, so these are like, they have water or something in them, some type of gel, I don't know, but they're like, I, I probably will just, um, I, I guess I can try and clean them. Stuff sticks to them. They're kind of nasty. I've gotten them before, but see how that 
just gunk sticks to them. <laughs> They're yucky. We got a little E.T. I'll clean him up and list him. He's cute. She knows I love vintage toys. Um, this one's 1986, I think. I have no idea what he's from. This says 1988. Little Christmas ornament, maybe? Ah! My dog. Sorry, guys. I don't know who he is either. These are like little transformers. I don't know. There's another one. I'll definitely. I don't know if those are like little McDonald's toys. I don't. Usually they'll say McDonald's. Oops, that's not it. And these do not. So I don't think they are. Look at this guy. 1997. Is that Daffy Duck, I think? I don't know who that is. 1998. Look at these little guys. Look how cute they are. They're little bitties. No idea. I'll have to to Google Google lens it. There's two of them. That one's missing a tail. Little My Little Pony. This guy's got. I think that's Skeletor, right? But he's major damaged, unfortunately. 1984, bummer, made in Hong Kong. I may still list it, you guys, just to see if I can sell it. 1991, here's more of these little guys. Look how cute they are. Bet they go to like a play set or something. Like he was holding something, maybe. 1999. That little guy kind of looks like a Lego, but he's not a Lego. Like he's got the Lego hands. I think that is that Bell, maybe from I don't know. Beauty and the Beast. Bully, Germany, hand painted. 1990. That's a Lego or not. It seems kind of big. Sometimes you can take their legs off. Let's see if I can. Oh, maybe his legs don't come off. And then we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This is the 60th anniversary collectors. Whoa, my I have a little pile over here and it's it's falling over. Just a second. Let me stack this better here. Okay. Oh boy. I've got it piled up. Ah! Okay. So this is by Mattel and it is dated 1997. And it's Snow White. It's got the little bird. So very cute. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna get this stuff listed. I'm gonna pop up some comps for you guys, or actually probably my listings based on my comps, and we will see um, how we did. So again, it was a $100 mystery box from Auctions for You. Okay, Bolo Buddies, so I've figured out the numbers, and there's probably three or four items that I haven't listed yet, like just the smalls, and then I'll throw some of the other items into just a mixed lot. But I am guessing on the low end, I would make about $400, and on the high end, I would make about $500. So four items have sold so far, super happy with that. So the answer to my original question is, is it worth it? I say yes. Stay tuned. I have another mystery box that I'm going to be unboxing from T um, Auctions for you. It is a huge box of miscellaneous pre-owned vintage toys. So this was more new old stock stuff. Um, the one coming soon is kind of like the first one I did that was just a hodgepodge of just crazy stuff. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm still working on getting everything listed, but that box was super awesome also. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.
Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.